Hey there, everybody. Thank you for joining us tonight for the She Rocks Spotlight. We are here on the third Thursday of the month now, and we're so excited to be sharing some amazing live music with you guys tonight. Thanks for joining us. Um, I'm the founder of the Women's International Music Network and the She Rocks Awards. And so tonight we're just here to support live music and share some amazing and uplifting performances with you. Um, you can donate to su help support musicians and all of the funds that we collect tonight will be given to the musicians that are playing this evening. So please check the description. It's thewomen.com slash donate. That's T-H-E-W-I-M-N dot com slash donate. And as I said, the, the, the funds will be shared with our performers tonight. And don't forget to follow them. Tonight we have three amazing performers, Jackie Castro, Ruthie Foster, and Grace Kelly. So I'm going to bring them in now to say hello. So let's, uh, let's bring, let's invite everybody back in. Hello, people. I'm going to unmute you. I'm going to, and I'm going to change it so we can see you all. Hi, guys. Hello. Hey. <laughs> How are you guys? Excellent. Okay. Have you been doing? Have you guys been doing a lot of live streamed musical performances? Yes, indeed. This is my first. Oh, Ooh. your first. Wow. I feel so honored. Yeah. <laughs> How about you, Ruthie? Have you been doing them? Uh, just a few. Yeah. Just a few. Yeah. I saw Grace sent out like a whole like schedule. She's on it. <laughs> just to keep myself organized too. Right. <laughs> Well, thanks so much for joining us tonight. I think everybody is really excited to see you play. I'm going to uh, I'm going to say goodbye to Grace and Ruthie for a little bit, and we're going to start off with Jackie. So they'll be back, um, but hang tight, and uh, we'll get some live music going. So talk to you guys soon. Yeah. All right. I'm in control. Okay, Jackie, how are you doing? Oh, I'm so good. So excited to have a show tonight. Yes, a show. You have a show. Hey, where are you based? I'm in Nashville, Tennessee. Ah, mm -hmm. how are things going there? Going good. It's been yeah. nice. It's been a good time to get to be really creative and write and use this time to do that. Oh, that's awesome. I heard you have some new music to share I with the world. At midnight, my new song, Trust Issues, is coming out, and I'm going to play it for the first time ever tonight. So I'm That's so awesome. Yeah. Do you see that in Parade Land? Um, you get to hear this song for the first time. <laughs> so, Jackie, um, where can people find out more about you? My socials are all at the Jackie Castro, Facebook, Instagram, all that. Okay, awesome. Well, I'm going to let you take it away. Wait, I, I thought I saw a, a fun and exciting accompaniment just yeah. there with you. And Mark Siegel over here. Hi. <laughs> He's like trying to hide in the background. <laughs> he he doesn't have to hide. It's okay. <laughs> He's actually my producer too. So we're here in his studio oh, right now. Fantastic. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to say goodbye and I'm going to let you uh, go ahead with the show. Sounds good. All right. Well, I'm so excited to be here tonight. We're going to have a good night of music and I'm excited to kick it off. This first one's called You Want It, I Want It. I lied, I lied when I said I didn't need to. It's just my pride coming through the speaker. We've tried, we've tried about a million times, but I'm tired, I'm tired of waking up without you and not realizing or just fantasizing I need you. Cause being without you, it just don't amount to be alone with you. If you want it and I want it, I think that we can get back to where we started, not promise. This can work if we start with being honest You want it, I want it Let's get back to where we started You want it, I want it So speak your mind Can you live without me? Have we been blind To all we really could be? Then why, oh why Do we need a guarantee in time? Fantasizing, I need you. 
with me and honest you want it i want it let's get back to where we started you want it i want it you want it i want it oh wow well, you want it i want it i want it oh 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 you want it i want it so speak weird without a live audience <laughs> um that was my first single you want it i want it you can find it everywhere and this next song is kind of about my tendency to romanticize everything and kind of picture everything playing out like a movie when in reality it doesn't always go that perfectly and sometimes you just make it up in your head and mark and i actually did an acoustic version of this song together that you can find on all streaming sites so i hope you enjoy it it's called romanticize i'm not gonna lie i think of you sometimes like in the grocery line when the song we used to like starts playing Ooh. Suddenly I'm 18 Wishing you would hold me Thinking that you just might Mirage of us together Wearing your old sweater Dancing in the moonlight If this were a movie You'd be running to me I'd be for this next one because this is my new single that comes out at midnight it's called trust issues and 
It's really important to me and it's really exciting for me because I get to write about whatever is on my heart and whatever I care about. And I really care about mental health and just talking about it and making it normal to talk about it. And so this song is kind of a look in my brain at my struggles with self-love and just kind of about that voice in your head that sometimes tells you you're not good enough or you're not worthy of love. And we're here to say that that is a lie and you are worthy of love and yeah, it's just been kind of healing for me and it's exciting to now get to talk about it in this release. So I hope you love it and I hope you listen to it tonight at midnight. It's called Trust Issues. Be kind to yourself, they say. Oh. Time I don't act that way. Oh, wish I could see what they see when they're looking at me. Oh, but I don't see myself that way. Oh, pretty face, ugly thoughts, caught up in the things I'm not. All I see are. Trust issues with the voice in my head Cause it's telling me lies I can't seem to forget Like you're not enough and you don't deserve love And I wish I could make it shut up I got trust issues but they're all in my mind Feeding myself as someone I don't like With this damage I do and what I put me through I'm believing in things that aren't true I got trust issues Trust issues. And how could I ever love someone when all the self sabotage I've done? Oh, cause I push them away when I want them to stay. Oh, and I broke my own heart enough. Oh, trust issues with the voice in my head cause it's telling me lies i can't seem to forget like you're not enough and you don't deserve love and i wish i could make it shut up i got trust issues but they're all in my mind beating myself as someone i don't like with this damage i do and what i put me through i'm believing in things that aren't true i got trust issues for having me for my first live stream parade mag and Thank <laughs> you. beautiful Thank I you. Loved it. very I, I can't wait to like check out the recording yes it sounds super different from what you just heard so. <laughs> but that's okay thank you so much Jackie and I'm gonna say goodbye for now and we're gonna bring out Ruthie Foster so we'll check back in with you in a little bit sounds good Sorry, I'm doing my controls here. I'm being, I'm in control. I'm some, I'm semi in control. I'm not that in control today. <laughs> Hi, Ruthie. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I just had a sneezing attack because. My, oh no. 
a nine-year-old brought over a hamster that she <laughs> was hamster sitting for her best friend. And I found out I'm allergic to... Oh, the, you uh, found out the hard way, right? Yeah, I found out the hard way. <laughs> We're good. So I hear you've been um, doing some new things as you've been staying at home. <laughs> <laughs> I asked Ruthie what she was doing, and she said, "Well, I got these tomatoes growing." <laughs> you know, it, you know, we're at home now, right? So you go to Home Depot, put your mask, yeah, put your mask, mm -hmm. and uh, because you know those guys have families too, and don't get all up in their Kool Aid if you you don't have a mask, okay? Um, so yeah, it, it, I I'm growing tomatoes. Yeah, I'm waiting for. You know, I heard that the you said that the buds happen yeah. first before the tomatoes. You know what I've figured out? Like I've been cooking a lot myself and growing tomatoes, but I feel like creating even tomatoes feels it's the similar satisfaction to writing a song. It's like that you help something become real from nothing, right? <laughs> That's exactly it. That's you know? it. It's like. Oh, we create been... people. We can't stop. <laughs> you can't, you know. hey, so, Ruthie, where are you? Where are you based? I am uh, in San Marcos, just south of Austin, Texas. Ah. So I claim Austin. You claim it. <laughs> it's yours. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm awesome. In the country, and uh, what used to be a cornfield is now this, you know, community. And yeah. Uh, that's how it happens, right? You know what, Ruthie? Now we're hearing that you need to turn your volume up a little bit. <laughs> oh. But you know what? Maybe it's because you're talking, because you were you were definitely projecting when you were singing. Very far away. Yeah, maybe you're too far away. You need to be a little closer. Right. Right. Well, I, I just want you to share where people can find out more about you, and then I want I'm gonna let you uh, perform for us. So Okay. Uh, well they can find me at uh, ruthiefoster.com. And that has everything. I, it has everything. One stop shopping. One stop shopping. <laughs> All right. I'm going to say goodbye and I'm going to let you take over and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Okay. Let's do it. I'm going to do a little bit of blues. I believe my soul's on a happy home.
glasses. Hello, thank you. <laughs> oh. All right, so um, the second song I want to do is up above my head. There's music in the air. It's, a, it's just a Rosetta Tharp song. Yeah. I, yeah, I gotta do that again. Yeah. Yeah. Those of you who are just joining us right now. mechanism on for the cable right now. <laughs> I'm going to do something called Singing the Blues. I wrote this one when I was on a, a cruise, something called a blues cruise, right? And I got a chance to meet Bobby Blue, <laughs> Bobby Blue Bland, and uh, that just made my day. And yeah, right, when he was still with us, may he rests. And uh, 
And so I wrote this song with that, with him in mind, and just the whole thing, but singing the blues and what that means to me. No matter what comes out of my mouth these days, it just always feels like blues. This has no blues lick in it at all. There's nothing blues about this, but you know, it just makes me feel good. And that's what blues does for me. It just makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I have a witness. Hey. Okay, I was singing. <laughs> That's like the happiest blues song I've ever heard. <laughs> well, it is happy blues, right? Blues is just that was awesome. They're with you, right? Witnessing that your made my whole night better. <laughs> there you go. That's what it's about. Where can people hear that? Because that 
It's awesome. Uh, they can go to my website and you can order CDs. You uh, you can download it. Spotify. There's uh, you know all of the social media. So, you know, I'm I'm I, I'm all it's there. Over. Remind me of the name of that last song. I I thought that was fantastic. The last song was "Singing the Blues." That's Singing the Blues. Okay. Woo! All right, guys. That was Ruthie Foster. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, one minute now. <laughs> thank you so much. That was really, really fantastic. Um, and I want to thank Parade for hosting us tonight and bearing with us as we figure this all out. They've been yeah. such a great partner and so supportive of musicians and uh, especially with Shoe Rock Spotlight. So thanks. And thanks, Ruthie. Um, Ruthie will come back in a little bit, but I'm going to say hello to see Grace Kelly now. So I'll see you later, Ruthie. Bye, darling. Okay, Grace. Where's Grace? Here we go. These little controls, they move around. It's a little bit freaky. There she oh. is. Hi. <laughs> wow, my spirit feels a lot better. Yeah, right? Ruthie. I'm not kidding. Like, I was like, all right. Yeah, that was incredible. It was awesome. Awesome. So how are you? How are you doing, Grace? I'm doing really well, Laura. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's really great to see you. And uh, you have definitely been out there playing on, on the interwebs. <laughs> yes, indeed. I was like, you know, I mean, I love my fans so dearly, and I would not let this pandemic tear us apart. So I was yeah. trying to be live as much as possible. Um, yeah, and I know a lot of them are excited about tonight. Yeah, awesome. Well, I think they're here. I think they're watching. <laughs> they're probably, shut up, Laura. We want to hear Grace. <laughs> um, but I just want to remind all of you fans out there, if you donate to thewomen.com slash donate, we're going to share all the funds that we raised tonight with our performers, including Grace and Ricky and Jackie. And um, we really appreciate you joining us. Um, we're, we'll be back uh, next month, the third Thursday of the month. Um, we're, we're doing it every month um, just to keep the live music going. So um, yeah, so next month uh, I'm looking for my paper to see who we have. I know we have um, Gretchen Men, great guitar player. Do you know her, Grace? No, no. Oh, oh she's, she's an amazing name. But I'm bad at names. Awesome. I could know her by face. <laughs> awesome guitar player. We've got a really lovely young artist named Some Girl Named Anna. And we have Bryce Drew, and that's on Thursday, July 16th. But now we're going to hear from Grace. Grace, what, what have you been doing do, during, this, uh, during this unusual time? Have you been creating you know, new music? Enough, or... We've been busier than ever. <laughs> I've always been a huge fan of making content. And so, you know, but on the road and stuff, it's just hard to stick to any type of regular schedule. It's very strenuous. So finally, it's like, all right, well, if not now, then, then when? So now. Uh, so I've been doing a lot of content creation. I've also been hosting um, some wonderful online workshops and been doing some teaching um, throughout all of quarantine and doing virtual concerts. I played, I performed at my very first Zoom wedding. I didn't ever think I would say that. Wow, that's cool. It was, um, yeah, it was so touching. Birth, like surprise birthday, but Zoom surprise birthday party. They brought me in as the guest performer. I mean, it's pretty incredible how we're still all staying connected as much mm -hmm. as we can, right? Like, yeah. Things Thanks to the internet. <laughs> that's, that's really, really cool. I, I think it, you know, sometimes it just forces you to be more like creative in a different way, right? Like, okay, we were doing this thing, we're going out, we're, which is awesome, but now we've got to rethink everything. Yeah, I guess. Like, we have a built-in sprint, you know? Yeah. I mean, I know, I know, you know, with running your business, but it's, it's, um, I think for a lot of artists right now, you have to put on your entrepreneurial creative mm -hmm. hat you know, to, to be like, how am I going to, all right, what does it mean now? Literally everything that I knew, my live gigs, but whoosh. yeah, <laughs> but I think a lot of artists, we, we do think outside of the box. So it's, um, you know, a, a really a great time to connect with fans with give, give, we all need 
a little more sunshine as part of our days, you know. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Um, Ruthie's performance, it's like, and, and all the performers tonight, it's like, thank you, my spirit, just, my spirit feels, feels good. Ruthie, yeah. Ruthie yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's good. We got recharged. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. oh, um, Grace, why don't you share with everybody um, how they can find out more about you and then take it away. Yeah, totally. Um, so my website, gracekellymusic.com. You got to remember the music. Otherwise, you will go to Princess Grace Kelly's website. You could do that too, but go to gracekellymusic.com. That's got all my stuff, my videos, my tour dates. Uh, I'm pretty active on my socials, most active on my Instagram, instagram.com slash gkellymusic, but also on facebook.com slash gracekellymusic, on Twitter, my YouTube page, I post videos there, uh, and my music's up everywhere you can find music on all, all the streaming platforms. It's such a funny thing to say now, like wherever you, wherever you go, it's there, <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> okay, rock and roll. I think that means I'm on. So um, I'm gonna start out with a little Graceified rendition of one of my favorite Ray Charles songs. This is off my album, um, Go Time Brooklyn. <laughs> Unchain my heart, baby, let me be. Unchain my heart, cause you don't care about me. Got me sewed up like a pillowcase, but you let a love go to the waste. So unchain my heart, please set me free. Unchain my heart, let me go my way. Unchain my heart, you worry. Every time I call you on the phone, some woman tells me that you're not at home. So one day, my heart, please set me free.
All right. A little unchain my heart. Woo! Well, I'm going to just take it down a notch right now, friends. By the way, how are you? Where are you? So glad you've tuned in. Um, this is kind of unusual, but, you know, so stoked to be here tonight that I thought I might pull out my keyboard. And because I'm home in quarantine, I'd like to kind of give you a little sneak peek of what my writing life actually looks like, which a lot of times is in front of a keyboard. And we're going to turn the sound. There we go. Okay. Um, so this is a song that, that I wrote uh, a little while ago off one of my albums. And, you know, the backstory behind it is I was having kind of a, a rough day. And, um, you know, I, I was sitting down with my mom that day. And... I was saying to her in conversation, I wish I could have said this. I wish I had done that. If only. And she said, you know, well, Grace, you can't change that now. But when one door closes, another door opens, even if you can't quite see it in the moment. And I couldn't see it in that moment. And I just suddenly felt this, like, I felt this melody coming on. And uh, I ran to a piano. Luckily, there was one nearby <laughs> in the house. And uh, I poured, this melody just basically wrote itself. And it was a real gift. And I started to write some lyrics. And uh, I'm going to sing it for you now. Um, I don't have a sustain pedal on my keyboard. I just have no idea where it went. So I'm going to give you, uh, give you what I got. <laughs> this is called trying to figure out. Trying to figure it out. has stayed my eyes I've been let down someday just didn't want to try but I stuck around lost to the dreamers it's all I've known the ups and downs on this bumpy road I'm trying for something The light will bring me home We're all trying to figure it out I will not let the blues take me I will not let the blues break me. I'll do my time, cry my woes. No sorries for the taking. One step and then another. And slowly we discover. Well, it may not be perfect or the way we planned in quarantine, but we're only here for the time at hand. So keep your head high and do the best you can. We're all trying to figure I will not let the blues take me. 
I will not let the blues break me. Do my time I'll cry my woes. No sorrows for the taking. One step in then another. And slowly we discover. Well, it may not be perfect. Oh, the way we planned, but we're only here for the time at hand. So keep your head high and do the best you can. We're all trying to figure. Trying to figure it out. Ooh, don't you know that we're all trying to figure it out? a little trying to figure it out. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, I'm going to change my programming a little bit right here and actually go to uh, a song of mine called Count On Me. And um, this is off one of my past albums. This, you know, I, I uh, made my set inspired by what I felt my heart wanted me to play you tonight because because it, uh, playing for you, and especially songs that I feel are quite timely, um, it just feels like right with the spirit. Do you know what I mean? So this next song is uh, one that the great Bill Withers, rest in peace, one of my favorite songwriters, he wrote a song called Lean On Me. And uh, such an important, important song, especially right now. And... Um, I wanted to write a song that has similar sentiment and had that feeling of togetherness and a song that celebrates, you know, the universal language of music. And so I wrote a song called Count on Me. And uh, I'm going to play it for you now.
count on me um yeah so you know i was gonna i don't know maybe uh, laura can give me the 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 sign of whether one or two more songs all right so we got a couple more for you we're gonna dim the lights again and maybe turn the volume up a little bit um, here we go back to <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> you can say it with me. Ooh. <laughs> so it's very important that we dim the lights on this one because uh, I'm about to sing you a love song. And um, this is maybe one of my most personal songs and also won the Song of the Year Award from the John Lennon Songwriting Contest in 2018, which was completely blew my mind and I've heard since then I've gotten messages from people I have never met saying that they've been en engaged to the song there's been multiple first dances uh, I never thought that I would hear such <laughs> incredible messages about it such an important day in people's life and having my music be a part of it it's the greatest gift to hear that so um, let me set the scene for you a little bit this song is called Feels Like Home, and I think it's the very first time I've performed it in this setting, live, in this fuzzy chair at home. <laughs> um, so, let's see, I had just come back from a European tour. This was a little while ago, and um, I was pretty excited because I was gonna go on a date and I've been living in New York City, and let me just say that I was not getting my expectations up super high because I've been on, I'd been on a bunch of dates, and you know, mm, so, mm, mm, let me just leave it at that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but I've been talking to this guy, and we've been, you know, chatting and texting, and he just seemed wonderful. But again, this is our first time meeting, so. I get so worked up when I tell a story, I can't even play chords in time. So anyways, we met up in the East Village at this really cute, really cute cafe. And it was like four o'clock in the afternoon. Don't ask me why I met up at four o'clock, probably because it was like happy hour time. Um, and we basically like walked into each other. I was actually on time, that never happens either. And I just remember the minute that I saw him, it was like, my heart just started beating really fast and I started to get all sweaty and I was like, oh, what is this feeling? I haven't felt this in so long. And then he turned out to be just so amazing and we were talking and, and talking and talking and eating and then we decided to move our little party to the bar next door and um, suddenly it was like 11 o'clock at night and we were like, we gotta do this again. And so we spent the next, you know, two months just going on these adventures in New York City. And, and even though we'd both been living here for a while, we were like, let's do things we've never done. We rode the set, Staten Island Ferry. We hung out in parks. Well, we've done that before, but not together. Um, we walked the Brooklyn Bridge. We went to tons of coffee shops. We people watched. And at one point I was just sitting in my apartment in this complete love days. And I wrote down the phrase, feels like home. And I just remember that feeling of being with him and looking at him and feeling just on an absolute like love days cloud that I felt so safe and loved and so happy and just everything was just perfect. And so um, I wrote this song for him.
Suddenly I'm falling a thousand stories high It's amazing and it's crazy And I'm strangely satisfied You grab my hand And the colors in my world come alive But I never planned to fall in love We watch the hours in the sunlight run away Talking of dreams, childhood memories and family holidays you were a stranger then a lover now something more i cannot say maybe it's time it could be love cause you feel like home when i look into your eyes your kisses taste like sunshine you turn me on so bright you feel like home you feel like home on a starlit summer night you're the drumbeat of my heart you're loving red as wine or oh, you feel like home suddenly i'm falling a thousand stories high it's too late to turn back now so i look deep into your eyes you pull me close kiss me softly under city lights somewhere in there i fell in love you feel like home when i look into your eyes your kisses taste like sunshine you turn me on so bright you feel like home you feel like home on a starlit summer night you're the drumbeat of my heart you're loving red as wine or oh, you feel like home do, 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 do. This time I'm not running. You feel like home when I look into your eyes. Your kisses taste like sunshine. You turn me on so bright. You feel like home. You feel like home. On a starlit summer night, you're the drumbeat of my heart. Your loving red eyes wine, or oh, you feel like home. You're the drumbeat of my heart. Your loving red eyes wine, or oh, you feel like home. You're the drumbeat of my heart. Loving red as wine, you feel like Thank you so much, everybody. Um, you know, that song is, it's uh, on, on my past albums. And also there's a, there's a very special YouTube version I hope you'll check out on my YouTube that features an incredible um, singer-songwriter friend of mine, Elliot Skinner, who sings it with me as a duet. Elliot used to tour with Chance the Rapper. He has the voice of an angel, you'll see. And so it's a really special one. I got one more song for you and uh, Let's see. I was kind of thinking, should I do it upbeat? Should I do it low key? But I'm kind of feeling in this moment that we'll do like, why don't I just send you off with like an upbeat thing a thing? I just made that up, thing a thing.
<laughs> so this is a, a gracified rendition, also on a past album. Um, this is a Michael Jackson song. I really am flipping things quite a bit, as I like to do. From moody to dancey. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you're dancing. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. You got mad skills, girl. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Fantastic. So everybody, you better be checking out um, Grace Kelly. And can you remind everybody where to find you? Not yeah, okay, so, so that they get to the right Grace Kelly, because they're going to want you. <laughs> GraceKellyMusic.com, um, Instagram.com slash GKellyMusic. Um, and then, yeah, all the socials. My website will will connect you to all the other places. Awesome. You sounded fantastic. Thank you so much. I, I was blown away. <laughs> and that song, the Feels Like Home song, I was, I literally had chills. I was like, wow. 
that was so beautiful. So whenever I get chills, that's like the like I I say that to other artists mm-hmm. as the like I don't know how to explain it. It's like the the, the best compliment because it's something I can't quite control. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's like this visceral response that really, you know, that's cool. It's very cool. I'm going to bring everybody back so we can see them one more time before uh, we get head on out of here. So let's see if I can do this expeditiously. Is it possible? I don't know. <laughs> I've, been, I've been technically challenged today. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Well, I want to thank you guys all so much for joining us. Um, what a great night of even, uh, evening of wonderful music. I'm sorry we had a little technical glitchiness at the beginning, but um, you all sounded incredible. Um, so Jackie Castro and Ruthie Foster and Grace Kelly, thank you so much for being here. Thank um, you. Yeah. I want to remind everybody, please donate. Um, we're collecting funds for these amazing musicians. And we also, uh, I just want to mention that we have some, a few um, items up on Charity Buzz right now that were donated to us. Uh, one from Mac Cosmetics, who is also one of our sponsors and has been very, very supportive of women in music. Um, and also a couple of really cool songwriting um, consultation packages, one with Shelly Pikin and another one with Suzanne Cope. And so um, if you go on charitybuzz.com, you can see them and bid on them and help support what we're doing with the Women's International Music Network. Um, so yeah, everybody, please remind everybody one more time where to find you. Jackie, go. At the Jackie Castro on all socials. Ruthie Foster. Foster.com. Yeah, go. And Grace Kelly. Grace Kelly Music, right? At G Kelly Music on Instagram. All right. <laughs> I want to thank Parade again for hosting us. I want to thank you guys for being here. And um, we'll be back July 16th. So check in, check in with the women.com and we'll see you all soon. Thanks. And thank you for the music, everybody. It was, was really great. Thank you. Have a good night, everybody. Bye. Bye, peeps. <laughs>